All right, folks, uh, I'm doing a recap here of my yard sale finds today in the, the hub of Nova Scotia. So what you see in this uh, screenshot right now is all of our first stop this morning. My wife and I went out. Uh, this was just a few minutes up the road from us. Um, and uh, we'll get everything that you see here and we'll get into the details of what's what here in a second. But uh, it was $15. So these folks were just uh, trying to unload everything and trying to make some space, some room and get rid of some stuff and uh, everything was priced to go. Um, so we'll start up here. Uh, this box has a set of uh, eight piece dishes. As you can see there, the two size plates, the mugs and the, the bowls as well. So eight piece, so that's pretty cool. Good shape. Next we got this little uh, glass top table wire, uh, sorry, uh, steel frame and um, magazine rack, I guess. So that was pretty nice. This old table, um, pretty good shape overall. Hardwood, got a few little stains on top I gotta deal with and uh, a couple boards cracking there and the seam of the boards coming apart. Joints uh, need a little work to shore that up, but overall not too bad. Um, this little planter vase thing. Well, that was pretty neat as the handles on each side with the rope looks pretty cool um, next is this uh, tea over ice set so it's for iced tea on uh, ice so not sure much about that just yet so i drink a lot of iced tea but we'll check that out next um, this little tea fell fryer um, active fryer anyway this was uh I, Again, everything was pretty cheap here, but this was only 50 cents, I think, or a quarter. But uh, anyway, it is relatively um, like new. It was only used a couple times, and when we check it out inside, you can tell uh, it's in excellent shape. So, And we were looking to get one. Uh, the one we have is a little bit bigger than that, but it's starting to fall apart on us slowly. So we'll have a replacement for it. This box has uh, an assortment of... Uh, little figures for uh, mini scenes for Christmas and so on. It also has a nativity scene. Um, so that's that's what's in that box. Next we got this little Winnie the Pooh phone, Disney phone. So not sure how old that is, but I uh, thought that was pretty neat and they said it still worked. And we got this little Sylvania CD AM FM radio. It's pretty handy and small, so uh, maybe good for camping or whatnot. Uh, this little basket. Uh, and then the things inside, of course, a uh, couple cheap little solar lights from Dollarama, but those were kind of thrown in there. Um, a Stanley plane, nothing special, but clean that up. And this dish full of uh, random figurines, figures, and toys, and so on. My son will have fun digging into that tomorrow. So that, as I said, is one stop uh, for $15, so happy with that. Uh, the rest of the stops were no particular order. Um, this one was actually later on in the day, in the morning, but anyway, I've got a couple of airsoft BB guns and probably half or three quarter of a bucket of 10,000 uh, BBs and the uh, target shooting gadget there as well. And that can be used indoors as it has the mesh in behind that catches the BBs. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this kind of military style backpack sort of thing with all the, uh, it's got a hip buckle strap is with all these pouches so that's good for hiking and fishing and hunting or whatever um, all these were as I said once I think I said but uh, one stop uh, and it came with a few of these small items as well so the little light uh, ceiling light fixture with the box I've got some brass darts for dartboard so that's kind of kind of neat brand new pretty much uh, old pair of pliers need to be cleaned up, but I've just cleaned up a set like those recently and it works just like new now. It looks great. This is an uh, add-on for a generator. It's got the little uh, two-prong 12-volt plug. It goes in some generators and then uh, runs it out to these clips, alligator clips, so you can charge batteries with your generator. Good for campers and so on. So as I said, that's one stop and that was uh, $15 for all that stuff. Next, uh, another stop was these um, th four items, I guess. Uh, so you got this little manifold port thing. It's for uh, air compressor. Mount it on the wall, run your air compressor into it, and then it's got three outputs. Um, so you can connect uh, different uh, con uh, you know, add-ons or devices to it or hoses and so on. So you can have multiple ports coming out of it. And it's got a, a gauge 
for that uh, line pressure and as well as a regulator for this hose output that's here as well. Uh, so also that stop was this 25 cent little license plate bracket. It goes on a utility trailer, camp trailer, that sort of thing. I think it mounts straight on with the tail light. Um, I had one of my utility trailer that broke, so that's a nice replacement for that. And a couple of big files, so if you follow my videos, you know I grab those when I can. Uh, one day I'm going to uh, make some knife uh, blades out of those. Okay, um, another stop was a jar of these uh, airsoft BBs. These are the 0.2 grams. They're a little heavier and they fly straighter because of that. Uh, we got those for six bucks. They were asking ten. We got them before we got all that airsoft stuff, but uh, like I said, my boys already have a couple of guns and targets and stuff, so we're familiar with that and we'll use those. So that was just one stop. <clears throat> Next, what you see in the frame here was a uh, stop in itself, and we have the compressor hose there. It's a, a good one that's soft so it doesn't uh, get stiff in the cold weather. Got the three ball hitch there. We're looking for one of those at a yard sale. Uh, this one definitely needs a lot of cleaning up and repainting and so on, but uh, I currently have two different size receivers um, on uh, two trailers that I have, so I have to change out inserts and uh, carry the both of them around in my van, so it'd be nice just to maybe get down to one receiver um, for the two of them. Uh, this is a 12 volt fan, it's got a clamp, so you can clamp it on, mount it on to things, but it uh, runs on 12 volts, so good for your vehicle or camping, I've used 12 volt systems in my camper. Uh, and then this solar LED sensor light. So that was one stop. Those were a total of $23. This little toy stop um, with the shark. Uh, so this little buggy I think is from Halo. It looks like it is. My friend, my son is a big fan of Halo and so he'll, he'll like that. Uh, these four uh, smaller toys, the three characters and the shark were uh, four for a dollar so I just grabbed those out of the bin. So total of three dollars for that stop for those toys uh, and then next is the fan again these are no particular order just uh, trying to get them from uh, each stop that we made so this was the only thing we got at that stop so it's a window fan and it's got a couple different speeds um, it built in timer as well you can adjust but uh, it um, was five dollars so they were asking ten we got them down to five um, Another stop, we got all this, uh, these little bags of Lego. There are an assortment of different things, nothing, uh, no sets completed or anything like that. But uh, if you total up all the bags, there's five dollars worth there. I got them for three dollars, so my son will enjoy going digging through that and see what he can find. But uh, the most of it will end up in his uh, his bucket of assortment of Lego that he uses to to uh, put his imagination to work. So this one. Um, this is one of those snow shovels or sweeps, not shovel, I guess it's a sweep or a broom for snow on your walkways and your steps and so on. I um, wasn't intending on getting this. Uh, this is one of our later stops today after lunch. Uh, didn't see much else at the place um, as I was looking around. Uh, asked about this. She said her father used it a couple times, but. Uh, he said that uh, he, he'd just rather grab the scoop and shovel and shovel it the old-fashioned way. So, anyway, um, it's pretty much brand new. He said it's only used a couple of times. 12 volt uh, rechargeable battery. It's just one battery with it, um, and it's a uh, Radley. Not familiar with that brand, so I'm going to do some research into that. But uh, anyway, um, the story on this was, um, you know, it was kind of interesting to me if the price was right. So I asked her what she wanted for it. Just kind of curious. And she said, well, just, what do you think? What will you, what will you give me? And so, of course, you know, it's uh, don't want to insult anybody, but I also wasn't even sure if I wanted to take it with me. So I said, I'll throw a real low number. No way she'll take it, and then I can leave without it. Anyway, I offered 20 bucks, and, of course, she took it. So here it is. Anyway, uh, it works. I didn't plug the battery in yet. Just threw it in the way it was, uh, and the thing works. So that's a good sign. The battery holds a charge uh, with not being used in a while. Um, next, three, three items uh, were another stop. So I've got some fishing uh, netting, a couple different pieces there. I've got a use for that in a basketball net that we have set up on the around our edge of our pool. 
um, it'll be a nice backdrop for that that'll keep the ball from uh, going out of the pool little uh, side table for bed bed stand table needs a little paint job but solid wood pretty solid and then this thing um, it's called a uh, gyrocopter all-terrain sport I uh, don't know much about these hoverboards um, this one has some question marks around it um, it does not have a charge cable um, so I gotta look into one of those and um, and it's used so I mean you don't know what you're gonna get the batteries any good or whatnot so anyway I'll price the charge cable uh, but it was only ten dollars so I couldn't uh, walk away without it at ten it was just a little a little gamble uh, we'll see what we can do we'll find what we need online uh, what's interest me about this over a regular hoverboard was that this is the all-terrain which has the bigger tires for more off-road so I thought that was quite interesting if I can get it to work that'd be uh, kind of fun it also might have some value if we don't have a use for it as well so hunting for a charger for that so that was all of the official yard sale finds um, got one other item which I'll get to in a moment um, just another last look at all the yard sale buys this last item wasn't really a yard sale find it was en route to a yard sale uh, but this bicycle was out on the side of the road uh, with a free sign on it so we stopped um, to have a look at it to check it over and it looked to be pretty good shape and it's a CCM uh, good tread on the tires uh, a lot of the levers and stuff worked freely the gentleman was out in the yard we asked him about it I mean it did have both flat tires so he said it might need tubes but I think they're relatively cheap uh, it's got some rust on it and he said that's really the only thing it just needs a little bit of oil a little bit of lubricant and uh, take care of the rust Overall, it is in really good shape. So, it's aluminum frame. It's got dual suspension. Um, brakes, front and back, both work. The gear shifters seem to work, but not sure if they'll shift just yet because the chain is rusted um, stiff. Uh, so we got to get that all freed up. I've already got it sprayed once with a lubricant, uh, penetrating oil. So we'll get that freed up, and once we get the chain freed up to work properly, we can give it a good run. But anyway, my son. Um, who's growing like a weed is um, needing a bigger bike so we're gonna give this a go we'll see if it uh, will work for him price is right anyway um, so that's all of our finds today as I mentioned uh, I think I mentioned um, that first lot was our first stop of the day and my little Toyota RAV4 was darn near full with that first stop and I still had like 12 other stops to make so we uh, luckily were only a couple minutes from home uh, dropped back home dropped that vehicle off and then grabbed my minivan and went and got the rest of this stuff um, so bigger haul than I'm used to um, bigger haul than what you've been used to seeing but uh, just a lot of stuff I couldn't pass up prices right on a lot of things some things just stumbled across but uh, anyway this group that uh, I got all this stuff from is putting out a bunch more stuff tomorrow so that might be another video stay tuned but uh, anyway thanks for joining me uh, please like and share comment if you wish um, and subscribe thank you